one of the biggest lessons I've taken away from this is how much care we ask and expect, honestly, in some ways, parents to do at home. And I think there is good upfront education about that, but there is very little kind of planned support um, as they are doing that. And I don't recall anybody ever asking me like, what is it like for you at home? Like, how, how much are you sleeping? You know, I, I don't know if anybody ever asked me that. And I think that, you know, I've started talking much more openly about this with um, providers and, and showing pictures and people are blown away. They had no idea. And, and, you know, again, it is, I think it is so different writing the orders and, and orders come from all, so many different people, right? So some palliative care is prescribing these meds, IDEA is prescribing these meds, ANC is prescribing these meds. And we review the meds, but again, I think that it's hard for people to understand. And it was, I never understood as a clinician what this looks like in the home setting. And I think that, so I think the preparation is fine, but what is missing is the kind of continued support during it. How much care is done at home? And then I think a lot about how can, what, what supports did I have that probably most other parents didn't have? What supports did I need? And I think that one is just a, there we need to have a way of, of people a better understanding just how much is done at home and and the effect of that right because if i am continuously hooking and unhooking meds and sleep deprived something's got to give and so unfortunately this probably care my other child um another four-year-old who really needed me um and my husband you know i mean again like there is only so many hours in the day and so i think that first of all it's just awareness of it Second of all is support. And I, you know, I don't know if this comes from the home care companies. We had a phenomenal home care company who had 24 hour nursing support um, and also had the ability to FaceTime or Zoom call. And they um, did that when we got home. So they were on Zoom as I was hooking up my first TPN. That was so reassuring. But this was, this was not the standard of, this is not the standard of care. This was just a really great home care company. Um, that was pediatric focused and um, but most parents don't have that and so I think that figuring out how we if we're gonna ask parents to do this that we are constantly checking in about it how's it going how can we help 